Don't forget the dance at the Youth Center next week. Well, hi there. You've come to the right place to find out what leisure time activities are available to you. Come this way. This way. That's why these new information tour and travel offices have been established at Maine Recreation Centers on Army installations. Yes, ma'am. Our new Army Recreation and Travel Guide lists travel camps, many of them located in outdoor recreation areas. It also lists on-post lodging and other information tour and travel centers like this one. If you're a winter sports enthusiast, we have a world of skiing within your reach and budget. From ski trails in Garmisch, Germany, to ski holiday trips offered by Army Recreation Centers and the outdoor recreation program at posts like Fort Carson. If you have the interest, we'll provide the action. Well, I don't really ski. And cold weather, well, it kind of bothers my sinus. Oh, well then, let's consider our summer outdoor recreation programs and activities. We can put you in almost any kind of boat to suit your taste. <laughs> can offer a quiet beach along the Atlantic coast. Or a surfing scene on Hawaii's Waikiki Beach. And that's only part of the Army's outdoor recreation program. Well, that really sounds nice. But I'm not supposed to get water in my ears. And, like, I really burn in the sun. I get chapped lips. Chapped lips. <laughs> I understand. Perhaps one of our other popular outdoor recreation programs will be more to your liking. You can find cycle or bike racing. Or horseback riding. Hiking. Camping, and even park sites which accommodate mobile campers and trailers. We can lead you to streams where trout fishing is a real adventure. Or to deep water which can yield some exciting catches. Well, it's all very impressive, but I'm not the outdoor type, I guess. All that walking and climbing would tire me out. And fish make me nervous. I see. Well. How about one of our low-cost travel vacations? If you're in Europe, you can travel through some of the most beautiful settings in the world where history and culture surround you. In the Pacific and Asia regions, another kind of beauty and culture can be discovered and enjoyed. We have the facilities whenever or wherever. We have a lot going on in our seven core programs. Music. The theater for watchers or participants, from free Broadway shows to on-post productions and dramatic workshops. And touring artists or groups who bring their entertainment specialty to you right on post. Do any of these travel or other activities appeal to you? Not really. Uh, there must be something in one of our programs you'd like. Arts and crafts, maybe. Our library program. Unit level sports. Recreation center activities. Yes, ma'am. Well, wonderful. Which one is it? Well, I really came by to find out if... if you ever have chess tournaments here on post. You see, I was captain of our chess team in high school. For further information, contact your Information Tour and Travel Office or the Recreation Services Office. Oh, darling, a letter came today. Something about a job from a Mr. Weatherspoon.
Yes, we do have the job opening. We hope you'll like it here. We've saved this office for you. This will be your desk. Oh, uh, by the way, you do have a high school education, don't you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Most good jobs require a high school education or its equivalent. If this is your problem, see your post-education officer. He'll help you to obtain further education while you are still in service, either in evening classes or by correspondence. Then you'll be able to answer yes to the big question. I am the infantry, queen of battle. For two centuries, I have kept our nation safe, purchasing freedom with my blood. To tyrants, I am the day of reckoning. To the suppressed, the hope for the future. Where the fighting is thick, there am I. I am the infantry. Follow me. I was there from the beginning meeting the enemy face to face, will to will. My bleeding feet stained the snow at Valley Forge. My frozen hands pulled Washington across the Delaware. At Yorktown, the sunlight glinted from the sword, and I, begrimed and battered, saw a nation born. Hardship and glory I have known. At New Orleans, I fought beyond the hostile hour, showed the fury of my long rifle, and came of age. I am the infantry. Westward, I pushed with wagon trains, moved an empire across the plains, extended freedom's borders, and tamed the wild frontier. I am the infantry. Follow me. I was with Scott at Veracruz, hunted the gorilla in the mountain passes, and scaled the high plateau. The fighting was done when I ended my march many miles from the old Alamo. From Bull Run to Appomattox, I fought and bled. Both blue and gray my colors then, two masters I served and united them strong, proved that this nation could right a wrong and long endure. I am the infantry. Follow me. I led the charge up San Juan Hill, scaled the walls of Old Tinson, and stalked the Moro in the steaming jungle still. Always the vanguard. I am the infantry. At Shadow Terry, first over the top, then I stood like a rock on the Marne. It was I who cracked the Hindenburg line. In the Argonne, I broke the Kaiser's spine and didn't come back till it was over over there. I am the infantry. Follow me. A generation older at Bataan, I briefly bowed, but then I vowed to return. Assaulted the African shore, learned my lesson the hard way in the desert sands, pressed my buttons into the beach at Anzio, and bounced into Rome with determination and resolve. I am the infantry. The English Channel, stout beach defenses and the hedgerows could not hold me. I broke out at San Lo, unbent the bulge, vaulted the Rhine, and swarmed the heartland. Hitler's dream and the Third Reich were dead. In the Pacific, from island to island I hopped, Hit the beaches and chopped through swamp and jungle, I set the rising sun. I am the infantry. In Korea, I gathered my strength around Busan, swept across the frozen Han, outflanked the Reds at Incheon, and marched to the Yalu. Follow me. Around the world, I stand ever forward. Over Lebanon sands, my rifle steady aimed and calm returned. At Berlin's gate, I scorned the wall of shame. I am the infantry. My bayonet on the wings of power keeps the peace worldwide. And despots falsely garbed in freedom's mantle falter, hide, 
My ally in the paddies in the forest, I teach, I aid, I lead. Follow me. Where brave men fight, there fight I. In freedom's cause, I live, I die. From Concord Bridge to Heartbreak Ridge, from the Arctic to the Mekong, the queen of battle. Always ready, then, now, and forever. I am the infantry. Follow me. So, the old man approved your leave. And you've got a place in mind where you can't wait to make the scene. Far out. But what about getting there and back? To a soldier going on leave, transportation was often a worry of sorts. There were times when the going was slow. One way only, short of seat space, bumpy and dry, cold and uncertain, dusty and dangerous, and more daring than accommodating. But you've come a long way, soldier, and today getting there and back need not be a hassle. By knowing a few simple facts about travel while on leave status or when departing from service, you can make traveling pay off within the continental United States. First, be sure you have your approved leave, furlough, pass, or separation orders. Be in possession of your military ID card. Let your carrier know that you are on leave status or within seven days of receiving your honorable discharge. Most commercial airlines no longer require DD Form 1580, but may require that you sign a statement that you are on leave travel status. Yes, you can wear civvies and still receive reduced military rates. On military standby, there are no travel time restrictions, but on military reserved rates, you may find that reduced rates do not apply between certain hours on specific days. Check your airlines to make sure reduced rates are available when you want to fly. Whether you travel by plane or train, your military status can work to your advantage if you'll just take the time to know what you have to do and what you're entitled to. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> have a nice leave. Without regard for place, time, or the destructive impact on human life, natural disasters strike suddenly, leaving in their wake lasting imprints of the havoc so quickly wrought. You'd have to really drive through the city to, to realize how much damage an earthquake can really do. Well, from what I saw, with all the people, you know, leaving, leaving town, just trucks and buses were just jam-packed full of people and, and, and their belongings. You just probably have to start from the ground to, be, to rebuild the city completely. The United States Army has long known what it means to extend a helping hand to people suddenly homeless, injured, hungry, and bewildered in the aftermath of disaster. To me, the people were in a state of shock, and it took about two or three days after we got here to realize that we were here to help them and give them food and water and what we could. The places and names change. San Francisco to Alaska, to East Pakistan, to Managua, Nicaragua. You guys look like they dropped a bomb in here. The building's all over the place. And you, it's just terrible. But there is a common thread to the Army's response when disaster strikes. To react quickly in providing assistance once the nature and scope of the disaster is known and the need for assistance is established. We got here on Christmas Day about 4 o'clock. They seemed in pretty bad shape, and the reception they got was really warm. Like, the people, you know, were glad that, that we came to help them. The Army, working with other military services and civilian organizations, must be ready to move out fast with equipment, supplies, and people. I think the morale of the uh, country is very high due to the, mainly to the U.S. aid and support uh, 
not only U.S., but worldwide support that they got. At first, the people were very, very uh, dejected, as well they may have been, but uh, now they seem to be working together and uh, all pulling together to get everything back. Disaster relief and assistance means getting to the victims, treating and comforting the injured, restoring order, stemming the spread of disease, assisting civil authorities, and doing whatever may be needed to get people back on their feet. Well, the people was uh, happy we was here, glad to get our help, and uh, seemed to be willing to work. First it was confusion, but now the people are uh, getting back in and getting settled down, and they're uh, doing a lot better than I figured they would. Wherever disaster strikes, in our own country or at some distant point in the world, the United States Army has the capability and compassion to respond. To lend a helping hand to people who need one has always been and remains an important role of the United States Army.